Welcome back, troglodytes, to Would You Rock or Not? Oh, we've got a fun one today. Somebody decided that they love Telecasters and they love SGs. What happens when you mix them together? You get this in shell pink. <laughs> oh, this guitar is beautiful. I'm guessing it probably doesn't play or sound that great, but Thankfully, the owner of this guitar does have a playing demo, so we'll get to listen to it at the end of this one. But this guy, he took a Made in Mexico Fender neck, and he either bought this SG body or made it himself and just created the... The sg caster I guess. Still bummed out about Pangea falling apart? Get your memorial sg caster today! Yeah, that name kind of sucks. I'm sure you guys will think of something better and leave me a comment. <laughs> so let's take a look here. This really kind of reminds me of one of those SG Melody Maker guitars from the late 60s. I think they had that body shape from like 67 to 69 ish. And then this pick guard right here kind of reminds me of like a Marauder setup. But clearly, the pickup and bridge design is 100% Telecaster. It appears we have a master volume and a master tone with a three-way toggle switch. I much prefer this to the Telecaster style. I always feel it's cramped between the volume knob and when you have it on the bridge position. The neck is definitely Telecaster. So I kind of think this works in a goofy, ironic way. I would probably play this guitar. But it was an interesting conundrum that they had going on here. They wanted a pick guard so the body would seem more SG-like, but a Telecaster, their whole control layout is usually in a separate area. So I kind of wish they would have went just with the Batwing pick guard and then had the traditional Telecaster layout. Shell Pink was definitely an interesting finish choice. But if you have a bizarre guitar like this, I think it's the right choice to do a crazy finish. I actually really like the neck and fretboard on this guitar. It has some very nice wood grain to it. And as we zoom in here, you can see even more of that. So there's not much more to say about this guitar, but I've got to say I'm a fan of these mashup guitars. You can blend a Gibson and a Fender, a PRS and a Gibson, or even the same company's flagship models and just putting them together. Now, it's not always the parent companies that do it. Here was a Rock or Not episode of a Telecaster mixed with a Flying V. You could argue my headless SG is the mashup between a Steinberger and a Gibson. The offset Telecaster is a blend of a Jazzmaster and a Telecaster. And then another YouTuber made his own Flying Fender V. So it's always fun to see what people can think of. So now we've discussed this guitar, let's go ahead and hear how this one sounds. <laughs> Question left, would you rock this SG Telly or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. And regardless of how you feel about this instrument, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.